This tutorial covers the basic keyer controls on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. There are two basic types of keyer hardware on these switchers. One, full function keyers that have linear, luminance, chroma key, preset pattern modes and IDPM, masking, key stores and borderline edging capability. And second, basic keyers that have only luminance and linear keying modes. Full mix effects banks have four independent full function keyers numbered one through four and basic keyers in positions five and six. The half ME, also known as ME50, has six identical basic keyers. The default keyer mode for all keyers is fixed linear. There is an adjustable linear mode as well as an adjustable luminance key mode on all keyers. Both linear and luminance keyers perform their keying operations based on the luminance value of the key source. The other key modes available on the full function keyers are preset pattern and the optional chroma key. These are covered in separate tutorials. As with most features on the Cayenne and Carrera, most of the keyer controls are available either from the menu or from the multifunction module on the panel. In this tutorial, we will look at just the keyer controls. In the Cayenne, the keyer mode is selected from the home page by choosing the keys selection. The auto delegation button is usually left on as it allows the keyer controls to follow both the ME and keyer selections made in the transition modules. The last delegation button is used when there is a need to switch back to the last used menu or to switch quickly between two different menus. The Carrera multifunction module has fewer functions on the panel but does have dedicated buttons for these keyer controls. Features on Carrera that do not have buttons on the panel such as masks and borderlines can still be used but only from the menu. The keyer menu has the same feature set for both Cayenne and Carrera. The basic key mode is fixed linear. As its name suggests, the key controls are fixed and the key will be processed using the key source without any method of adjustment for key levels. With digital signals, the key levels are typically correct and there is no need to adjust levels. In the engineering setup menu, source definition page, the fixed mode settings for key clip can be set for each source to be correct for an incoming key source that does have incorrect key levels. Alternatively, the operator can switch to adjustable linear mode, which enables the key controls both in the menu and on the panel. In the menu, select adjustable linear or on the panel, the adjustable mode is selected by pressing both the linear and luminance controls together. In the adjustable mode, the two clip controls, clip high and clip low, can be set to black 0% or white 100% as needed. There is a user setup in the panel prefs menu to choose either clip high and clip low controls or the more conventional clip and gain controls. These choices are individually selectable for linear, luminance, and chroma key modes. In luminance key mode, the default keyer controls are clip and gain, where clip normally is at 50% of the luminance, while the key range is set by the gain control for a range of black to white of 100%. Luminance keys differ from linear keys in that the key channel is filtered to remove edge artifacts from appearing in the resultant background key combination. The key fill source for both luminance and linear key modes is normally the video source itself, but this can be replaced with a color mat if mat fill is turned on. The key cut source can be generated from the incoming video if video key is enabled, otherwise the key cut comes from whatever key signal is associated to the fill video. The assigned key signal is either the key input that was set up for the source in the source definition menu, or if a split key has been set, any source on the switcher can be used as the key cut. 
The split key is displayed in the transition display window and is also in the source ops ME's source selection submenu. When the same source appears in both fill and cut areas, this means that the key is following the key selection as set in the engineering setup menu and is not necessarily a self key. Key splits can also be set on the Cayenne panel by holding down the key split button and choosing the desired key cut source from the key bus. Another standard key feature is key invert, which inverts the key signal to key from the black areas of the key cut signal instead of the white areas of the key cut signal. There is also a useful show key button that shows the processed key signal on the preview monitor while show key is activated. The show key button on the panel is a momentary hold down function while the show key in the menu latches on until manually turned off. There is also a push to preview function that will temporarily turn the key on in the preview output of the ME so the resultant key can be viewed. As with show key, push to preview latches when activated in the menu and is a momentary function when any of the key or buttons are held down on the multifunction module on the panel. The other standard features of each keyer are opacity and key size and position. The key size and position are only available in the menu and allow a small adjustment of the key position and width which can be useful if the key cut and the key fill video signals originate from different devices. Opacity allows any key to be set to be transparent when fully keyed into the background. This is often useful for logos and ID books that are inserted over program material. An additive key button provides an override to the shaped setting that is set in the source definition page. When shaped video is selected for a source, the keyer is set to the additive key mode to correctly key the video into the background. If either the shaped mode is set incorrectly in the engineering setup page, or if the key video format of a source is changed so the setting is incorrect, the additive key button provides a quick way for the operator to solve the problem by overriding the engineering menu's shaped setting. In addition, when additive key is active, the super add mode becomes available. This is indicated on the panel by the additive key button changing to orange. The super add mode can be activated on the panel by double pressing the additive key button. Super add combines the key video with the background without cutting a keyhole in the background. This is also known as full additive mix. This is useful for special effects such as adding smoke to a background scene. Other key features such as chroma key, preset pattern, masks, border lines, key stores, and the IDPM are covered in other tutorials. This completes the tutorial on the Carrera and Cayenne Keyer controls.